We're approaching our 65th anniversary here, and we're just uh, shy of 64 right now, so we're getting ready to celebrate a, a milestone. Um, started out in Manitoba on a farm, and uh, the actual name of the company was Meridian because it was a center road between East and West Canada, so that's, the, that's where the name came from. We now have uh, seven plants. Uh, we have Winkler, Regina, Camrose, Alberta, uh, Lethbridge, Cambridge, uh, Ontario, and Storm Lake, Iowa. We have a plant down there as well. The grain storage handling, because we, we do both with you know, augers, conveyors, and, and the bins. So our, our main market is Canada, number one. Number two would be uh, US. Number three would be Australia. We do lots of business in Australia as well. And, and now international, globally, Europe, a uh, lot, uh, lot of demand, a lot of need for good storage products. What you're doing is you're able to condition the grain inside these bins, so you're either preserving the quality or sometimes you're actually improving the quality. So there's a, you know, an instant return as well. The other thing that storage has allowed farmers to do over the years is take it off at the harvest time, which is usually the, the, most, the least favorable price, pardon me, the, the, the worst basis and hold it either for a few months or even into the new year and sell it into, into better markets. So again, the return on investment, you're adding value into your, your, your grain farm operation. And um, the advantage that we have with the smooth wall, of course, is we're able to, it's very versatile. You know, guys are obviously their grain at harvest time, but fertilizer, seed grain, uh, feed, we've got guys with large feed tanks. And um, so you got that versatility, so whatever you need, it's still one bin does it all. In recent years, we've seen the price of steel going up and our cost of bins have gone up. And recently we've seen that soften a little bit. We brought our prices down. But the investment on the farm that you get from smooth wall bins is, is unreal. Like many farmers are saying that they bought bins 10, 15 years ago. They're selling their farms and their bins have appreciated. And they're getting more money for them now at the auction than the did back when they uh, paid for them. Seed security, um, keeping bugs out, keeping it pure, um, things like that. It, the smooth wall is the best way to go. The powder coat is the best, best finish out there possible and it just stands up year after year. Uh, we got bins, we started powder coating over 20 years ago and we got farmers that are telling us the powder coat is still still perfect on their on their bins. The hopper bins are, are handy on a farm, they're good on a farm. You don't have to shovel, there's no sweeping. The clean out is easy. Uh, maybe take a rubber mallet, give it a tap, and it should be right empty. Bigger. That's the trend is bigger. Uh, we've been building 18 foot diameter up to 7,500 bushels in Alberta for the last nearly 10 years. We've now gone to 20 foot bins. Uh, up to 10,000 bushels. They're managing their input costs because input costs are just one of the things that's just uh, gone through the roof. They're, it's nice to have grain prices right now, anyway, at favorable numbers, but if inputs uh, exceed that, it, it's not a win. So guys are buying the fuel at uh, a favorable time. Two reasons, number one, the price might be right, and number two, they know they need it. They buy fertilizer and their seed when the price is right because they know they're gonna need it. But you've got to have the storage to be able to facilitate that and allow that to happen. So they're managing their input costs and their seasonality 